Well, who doesn't like to smell like coconuts in the summertime? It's an unmistakable summertime scent. Coconuts, whenever you smell coconuts, you think of summer, warm weather, tropical climate, right? So it's really a note, fragrance note, that brings you kind of like happy feelings, happy thoughts. It makes you think of vacations and leisure time and tropical islands and paradise and all those happy thoughts. So coconut is one of my favorite fragrance notes, you know, to wear in the summertime, you know, fragrances with coconut note in it, a dominant coconut note in it. I have quite a few coconut dominant fragrances that I wanted to share with you because they are the most delicious coconut fragrances to wear in the warm summertime weather. So let's jump right in. Hi my lovely people, welcome back to another fabulous fragrance video. I wanted to share with you my favorite coconut fragrances for warm weather, for summertime. Um, the moment summer comes around, I cannot help but wear, you know, use coconut body washes, coconut oil on my body, coconut, you know, fragrances. I want to smell like coconuts in the summertime. It really makes me feel like I'm on vacation on a tropical island. Now, actually, I just got back from the beach and you can see I got quite the tan I got pretty tan you guys this is basically as dark as I go in summertime so yeah I was in the Sun all weekend this long weekend we had so yeah I felt really healthy renewed something about the beach and the moment I think of the beach too I think of coconuts cuz you know you can f you find a lot of coconuts trees by the beach in tropical climates not necessarily the beach around here but you know in tropical climates you find coconut trees by the beach but anyway i have a lot of new coconut fragrances that i have added to my collection last year i did a coconut fragrances video there might be a, a few here that were in that video but I have added quite a few new ones since then so I wanted to do like an updated coconut fragrances video for you guys because I have again quite a few new ones here um, let's get started the one that I love the most it's actually the first one I'm going to talk about is one that was in my last year's video I'm only going to talk to you guys about fragrances with an unmistakable coconut note that that it smells like coconut you can smell the coconut in the fragrance i'm not going to talk about every fragrance that has a coconut note for example you know dior um, hypnotic poison has coconut but i'm not going to to talk about it as a coconut fragrance because first of all i want to talk to you about summertime scents that to me is a winter fragrance and there are you know cold weather fragrances with coconut note in it that's not the only one there are many other ones i'm only going to talk about warm weather fragrances with a very dominant coconut note in this video now this first one is one that has an unmistakable strong coconut note it actually has a very strong coconut accord it's one it's the main thing you smell in this fragrance this also has some other beautiful summertime fragrance notes like frangipani which i absolutely adore if you have been with me for any length of time you all know that i love frangipani um it's a tropical floral note that smells like some smells divine, okay? Like tiari flower, frangipani, ylang ylang. Those are all fragrance notes that are absolutely divine. Now, this one is Dolce and Gabbana Dolce Garden. You guys, this one, the name is very misleading in my opinion. This is a fragrance that smells absolutely gorgeous. My husband, every time I wear this, he compliments me. I get compliments when I wear this to like Pilates. Sometimes I actually wear this when I'm like, you know, when I go to my Pilates classes and stuff, like in the summertime when I'm being active, running around, I tend to wear this fragrance. This is one actually that's even good for like 
a tropical, you know, anything. Like if you're on a vacation, like to the beach, it's, it's an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. It has this beautiful frangipani note that smells amazing. But the first thing you smell really is coconut. And it's that coconut note that makes this fragrance smell so beautiful. I absolutely oh, adore this. I can't smell this enough. You guys can see I've put quite the dent in it. And it's difficult for me to put a dent into any fragrance because of the number, sheer number of fragrances I have in my collection. So here's another coconut fragrance that I absolutely adore. This is actually also a very strong vanilla fragrance. This is like a summertime coconutty vanilla fragrance and it's date night appropriate it's very much like go out you know on a date um special something you're doing in the summertime you can wear this date and night but mostly i like to wear this at night time this is la nuit tresor nude you guys i haven't had a chance to wear this very much but Oh, it smells so divine. It's got a bucket of vanilla and the second most prominent thing in this is that coconut note. It's a coconutty vanilla and I don't need to talk about anything else in this fragrance. This is quite sweet, I would say. And it's very feminine, very ultra, super feminine, gorgeous fragrance. My husband loves this one as well. This is definitely kind of a man killer type of fragrance. I need to get a backup of this. I just got this like at the end of last summer, so I didn't get to really wear it, but I am so dying to wear this out when we go out um, in summer, I know, the, in the coming days. Absolutely love it. This could even be a scent you take on your, your summer vacation to wear on date night. You know? Speaking of which, this is another coconutty vanilla. For summertime, it, it it's quite strong, I would say. Um, it's definitely, to me, a nighttime scent, especially in like the heat. If it's a very hot day, I would wear this at nighttime. This is a very, very like beautiful coconutty fragrance for you know, like go, going out, I think. Like, let, let's say you're on, a, on your typical vacation or just summertime, you know, you ha, you ha, you're at this, like, nighttime event by the pool or, you know, something. And this is a great one for that. This is La Vie et Belle Soleil Cristal. You guys, this one. Oh, this is a very powdery. It's very powdery, too, because this has iris, I believe but it has a lot of coconut the coconut is in the base in this fragrance if i'm not mistaken and this has a bucket of vanilla and i will say this has a little bit of patchouli and you can smell the patchouli but it's not overwhelming or dirty or anything like that it's just slightly earthy you know kind of adding a little sophisticated uh, earthiness to the fragrance that's all it has like you know nice um, pink pepper and citruses in the opening like mandarin orange i think it's beautiful a lot of coconut in here very much like la nuit tresor nude type of fragrance but not as sweet as the nude um it's a little bit more like powdery uh leaning coconutty vanilla fragrance. Then I have quite a sweet florally coconut fragrance by Maison Margiela. This is uh, Maison Mar Margiela Replica Beach Walk. This one is a little bit hard to... I can smell it but I'm still gonna spray it on my skin so I can smell better. Ooh, yeah, this one you guys is absolutely gorgeous this is like your perfect beach fragrance this was in my beach babe fragrances video check it out if you haven't checked it out i'll link it up here and down in the description box this has got some gorgeous floral notes like ylang ylang heliotrope you know oh this has got some really strong musks and like and benzoin you know with that little vanilla resin vibes um and and more vanilla as well you know so i think there's benzoin and vanilla some citruses in the opening you know the usual it's absolutely beautiful it almost has like a a little bit of a salty 
marine vibe too. I don't think it's revealed in the notes, but I feel like this has ambergris or something marine or a slight salty note and like a marine note of some of some sort because you can smell kind of the beach you can smell that beautiful coconut in the middle with ooh, all those beautiful florals like ylang ylang this smells like a walk on the beach really i mean i think the name is quite appropriate Really, you can smell the sea breeze almost with a little bit of that floral hint and the beautiful coconut, gorgeous coconut, coconutty floral beachy scent. Then I have a bit of a slightly spicy coconut fragrance. It's almost like coconut water smelling fragrance. It's very refreshing, weirdly enough, because it's like not like... It is kind of creamy, but like it's very refreshing though. It smells very similar to Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, which I will talk about here in a second. You probably guessed it, this is House of Siage Mickey Mouse fragrance. To this day, I'm not so sure what Mickey Mouse has to do with coconut, but okay, so you know, like I didn't, I don't think coconut when I think of Mickey Mouse, do you guys? Anyway. This is a very, you know what, I can smell it from the Aromizer because it's such a fresh fragrance. I'm going to go ahead and spray this one. Um, oh, this is like right away at first spray, you get that whiff of that warm spicy cardamom in here, you know? So it's mainly a, a citrusy opening with a hint of like cardamom and then you get the coconut right away. It's almost like coconut water but it's actually coconut milk that's in this fragrance yeah I don't get too much of a lactonic feeling in here even though it's coconut milk it almost smells more like coconut water it's very refreshing probably because of the large dose of citruses in the opening that freshens it up like you know gives that refreshing like fresh vibes and I think the creaminess of the coconut milk turned into more of a coconut water type thing with that heavy dose of citrus. This has some beautiful like citrus florals like orange blossom in here. It has like beautiful like sensual dry down with a little bit of sandalwood and some little bit of sweetness from vanilla and, and tonka bean. I think this has both and a little hint of maybe amber I think. But anyway, this is a very refreshing summertime coconut watery smelling, coconut water slash citrusy smelling fragrance with that spicy hint from the cardamom, okay? It's quite a unique fragrance, I gotta say. Very refreshing on a very blazing hot sunny day. You wear this, you will feel so refreshed. Next, I'm going to share my one of my favorite coconutty vanilla fragrances ever. This is not the most natural smelling fragrance, but it's very beautiful nonetheless. It's got a huge amount of coconut. I would say out of all the fragrances that I'm talking about today, this is the one that has the strongest coconut, like straight out coconut scent, which I appreciate because a lot of the times I gotta tell you, I'm really like addicted to coconut sand and none of the fragrances are ever coconutty enough. Like it's not strong enough in coconut scent. But this one is very coconutty uh, while being also exotically floral with gorgeous floral notes like Tiari Flower, which is one of the most divine smelling tropical florals ever. And it has a huge dose of vanilla. Of course, I'm talking about none other than Mancera Coco Vinny. You guys, this is one of the most delicious coconut fragrances to ever exist. I love that beautiful coconut, coconutiness. This has coconut right in the opening with a juicy pe peach note, I think. But that coconut, although it's in the opening, it stays there through dry down for hours. The coconut is unmistakable and I love that. And there are some fragrances here that has coconut in the base, which is supposed to be the strongest, 
you know, place to be, like if it's in the base. But, you know, this one, even though it's just in the opening, the coconutiness goes through the whole life of the fragrance, which I absolutely appreciate. This has, like I said, tiari flower, there's ylang ylang, jasmine, all the gorgeous tropical florals, and a huge bucket of vanilla, of course, so it's quite sweet. Some musks, some woody notes, beautiful fragrance. Every time I go on vacation to the beach, anywhere tropical or anything related to tropical, I wear this. Do you see the dent I've put into this fragrance? Absolutely love it. And you don't have to spray too much of it. It's quite a strong fragrance, so you don't need to like over spray it or anything because it's quite emanating, you know, like it emanates from your body quite nicely. And here's another one of my favorite coconut scents ever and there is a very exciting new flanker which I also absolutely adore and both of them have coconut this is of course bronze goddess by Estee Lauder this is one of the most hot sexy beach babe smelling fragrances to ever exist this is not overwhelming it gives you that you know warm sexy skin type of scent this is a great fragrance to wear to the beach in my opinion, absolutely gorgeous. This has a huge amount of coconut right in the opening, which stays throughout the life of the fragrance like Mancera Coco Veni. And then it has, did I say tiari flower? Yeah, it has tiari flower. It's so beautiful. And of course, loads of vanilla and amber and some sandalwood in the dry down. Very sensual, very sexy. Smells like warm, sexy skin. Again, wear this quite a bit. Now the exciting flankers right here. This is Bronze Goddess Le de Lumiere, you guys. This is one uh, that's absolutely gorgeous. So this is different from the original. This is this flanker. The original is very much like that warm, sexy skin kind of scent. Whereas this one is also coconutty, has coconut, but it is also very white florally, so it's a very solar fragrance also, but very white floral dominating, dominated fragrance, but you can smell the coconut. So it's like white florally, co florally coconut scent. This has some citruses in the opening. This has that beautiful, huge amount of coconut, equally as much coconut as the tuberose and jasmine in here, in my opinion. So it's like... 50% white floral, 50% coconut. Has a little bit of um, like a slight mossy vibe on the base. Some, I think, slight hint of woodiness too. You know, absolutely stunning, gorgeous. I'm very happy that I got this. I haven't even hauled it. Um, it'll be probably in my next haul video. Here's another fragrance that has like very kind of an artificial vibe, but I like, I wanted to include this in this video because this actually has a very prominent coconut accord. Yeah, it does smell a little artificial on the more artificial side, but it's still very beautiful. This is Rihanna, um, Rihanna's Rab Fleur. It's a celebrity fragrance, but it quite, it's quite nice for a celebrity fragrance in my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and spray this a little bit. I can smell it, but I'm going to spray it a little bit. Yeah, this is actually also very plummy, very juicy, fruity in the opening. I can strongly smell that peach and plum notes in the opening, but I can also smell the delicious coconut in the middle with various, um, you know, floral notes like tuberose, some other florals I forget now. And loads of vanilla, a little bit of patchouli, some musks, you know. It's actually quite, quite lovely, quite nice for, you know, a celebrity fragrance. I know this is not for everybody, so I will warn you. This fragrance is not for everybody. Some people find it to be a little overwhelming because it's on the, on the artificial side, like I said. But to me, it smells very feminine actually very kind of plummy fruity coconut scent i've been on the search for really coconutty fragrances like i just told you mancera coco Vanille, the reason why i love it so much 
is that it's very coconutty. I mean, it's it, the coconut is satisfactory. Like it, it satisfies my coconut craving, right? Whereas a lot of these coconut fragrances don't have enough of a coconut note. Now, I've been on the hunt for like completely coconutty fragrances and in my search, I ran into this right here. It's very inexpensive actually. You can get it like on Amazon too, but I found this to be quite actually surprisingly you know, really good. This is Le De Coco. Uh, this, this is like that brand that the Urban Outfitters uh, sell. I'll link all these fragrances, of course, down in the description box. Always check the description box. I'm gonna go ahead and sm actually spray this on my other hand here. Oh, you know, even the juice is actually white and kind of, I don't know if you guys can see, the juice is actually kind of white. Uh, this is, you guys, actually surprisingly very natural smelling coconut fragrance. This, to me, smells like it's kind of sweet and perfumey coconut milk, okay? Yeah, it has a very fresh coconut milk uh, smell. I mean, I grew up with coconuts. I grew up on a tropical island. If coconut milk had a slight sweetness, this is it's what it would smell like. It's very, very, almost like even the juice itself is actually kind of, kind of white. Let me see if I can show you it more. I don't know if you can, I don't think you can. No, yeah, right there, you can kind of see, there's a drip down there. Kind of coconut, I mean, kind of white, the juice very light, fresh coconut milk smell. Okay, this is so natural smelling and I will say it's not something that's gonna last for very long at all. I will tell you that much right now. I mean, again, it's a very inexpensive fragrance. It's Le De Coco. The brand is, I think it's called 008. I don't know, like, I know that they sell this at Urban, outfitters okay this they also have like that famous pista pistachio one of theirs they have a lot of really cute fragrances so I thought this was a kind of a nice find I mean sure it's not a niche fragrance yeah it's not going to last forever but if you're looking for like a very natural smelling slightly sweet coconut milk fragrance that's the one for you then I have this fragrance right here and it doesn't list coconut anywhere in the composition, but I can swear this has coconut, because I can smell the coconut in it. This has frangipani in it, which is one of my most favorite notes, and this is one of those fragrances that smell like sexy skin, with a little bit of hint of perfume. This is Sun Goddess by Musicology. You guys, this one, like I said, this definitely, I feel like this has coconut, because it has like, it's similar to Dolce Garden, you know how it has loads of coconut I know for a fact this has coconut they just have not revealed it yeah I would cut my hair short if it if this didn't have coconut I mean they sometimes fragrance houses don't reveal all the notes but this has loads of coconut it has frangipani it has that same vibes as, as Dolce Garden though not as sweet as Dolce Garden this has like um, also like orange blossom type, you know, just like Dolce Garden floral notes. It has like the jasmine and a little bit of heliotrope even, um, and loads of, of uh, not loads of some vanilla. It's not overly sweet. It's it's somewhat sweet. I am pretty sure this has coconut. Okay, one of my favorite coconut fragrances, coconut vanilla. It's a tropical vanilla a tropical coconutty vanilla fragrance it's one of the most sophisticated beautiful tropical paradise scent you know one of the best ones i've ever smelled this is of course ylang in gold by m Mikolaf. and of course i have the ylang in gold nectar which is just the more potent version of the original right here these you guys oh they're so good this is essentially Ylang Ylang, that gorgeous tropical floral with coconut and loads of vanilla. The juice itself has a slight shimmer, so when you spray it on and you're in the sun and your skin kind of glistens, which I think is cute. 
oh this is I cannot recommend you this enough times and same you know here's the more potent version if you ask me which one's better I couldn't tell you because they're both amazing okay it's hard it's a it's a hard question so this one smells the same except stronger so you guys if you want these you should buy it on emikolov website because you get like really nice gifts with purchase like deluxe size travel sprays and sometimes 30 ml fragrances with your purchase and and emikolov website has fragrance their fragrances at a lower price than like the distributors have because they this when they dis distributors get they get it for a little bit higher price than emikolov's website <clears throat> to begin with and if you use my discount code which is which i will link down in the description box you can get a, a another percentage off of your purchase as well so yeah check in the description box for the discount code for that um and then i have of course tom ford soleil blanc which i can't miss again this is very similar to mickey mouse but not as spicy as mickey mouse i would say I'm going to go ahead and spray this here on my shoulder. Yeah, so this one is, I would say, just as refreshing, but not as spicy. This one also has that same cardamom note in the opening, but not as strongly as the Mickey Mouse fragrance. And this also has, I think, coconut water. That, that's what's in here. Yeah, um, among many other gorgeous notes, this is a very refreshing coconut water smelling, slightly spicy fragrance that gives you kind of like vibes of being on a yacht off the coast of the, port on the Portofino coast, okay, that type of, or just like on a boat, you know, like sailing around on a boat. That's the kind of vibe this fragrance gives. It's also really amazing for like a summertime formal occasion during the day. Then I have Comptoir Sud Pacifique Vinny Coco. So Mancera is Coco Vinny. This is Vinny Coco. This is also a vanilla coconut fragrance. I will say the coconut in here is also quite nice and strong. This is also a little bit artificial smelling, kind of like the Mancera Coco Vinny, but very strong coconut uh, scent, which is what the nice thing about of the synthetic notes because, you know, you get a stronger, you know, accord with it. Now this is a little bit creamier. This has like, I think a lactonic note, like whipped cream or something. This has a little bit of banana, which adds to like the ylang ylang in here. I'm pretty sure this has ylang ylang. So yeah, and it gives that tropical vibes with the tropical fruity notes, you know? And then loads of vanilla, of course. I think there's vanilla in the middle and in the base and lots of coconut. Um, coconut is actually quite strong throughout this fragrance. I think there's coconut also in the middle and in the base. Absolutely beautiful. I love wearing this also to the beach and stuff. I actually have put quite a dent into this as well. Then I have a very florally fra fragrance. The coconut in here is, is there. You can smell the coconut, but the floral notes also kind of show quite a bit. This is the Kali Utopia. Uh, vanilla coco something uh, 30 something uh, this one yeah I have to spray this one you can't really smell it um, the only problem with this fragrance is that it doesn't last too too long it kind of disappears after like I would say three four hours um, max but it's a beautiful fragrance it's actually a, a, such a shame because like the ones in the mirrored bottles like this like whatever you call this finish chrome type of finish they, they're supposed to be entense versions as in intense so the potency is supposed to be a little higher than eau de parfum but I don't find it to be the case with some of the you know Kali fragrances but you know um this is beautiful it's a beautiful fragrance it has loads of white florals like a lot of like jasmine tuberose even gardenia or something a lot of really nice white florals it has citruses in the opening and then that coconut coconut note yeah beautiful the coconut note in the opening you can smell the coconut but the coconut doesn't quite stay all the way to the dry down it kind of does kind of doesn't there's some vanilla in the base obviously 
but it's not too sweet but it's very much a very florally fragrance perfect for like really hot summer days so you guys the only ones i left are like have left here are the uh honorable mentions um so i put these in the honorable mentions for various reasons so first of all i have two body sprays here these are the the two out of the three this is the third one that so de janeiro released these are body sprays but i wanted to put them in this video because they have a very prominent coconut note in it bikini season is like a very fruity guava coconut guava and coconut and citruses and oh floral beautiful beautiful this is great for like beach you know to wear to the beach i wore it on the beach on our beach trip just now and this one uh tan lines same thing oh this has a beautiful coconut note in here too it's mainly like white florals and coconut absolutely gorgeous and also the coco cabana i'll show you the this line right here sol de janeiro also has a body spray uh coco cabana body spray that has beautiful coconut scent as well i ran out of it i don't have the spray anymore i need to get a new one and here are some honorable mentions i put them here because they've been discontinued this one right here dolce and gabbana light blue sun this is one of my favorite solar fragrances you guys this is absolutely gorgeous it's a very like ozonic kind of very oceany smelling fragrance perfect for the beach has fresh refreshing citruses in the opening with those beach like kind of mm, ozonic notes and that gorgeous coconut it has frangipani which is one of my favorite flowers really does wonders in coconutty solar fragrances some you know jasmine lots of tropical florals in here too and some vanilla it has musks and ambergris of course adds to that marine vibe this fragrance has and the opening with the with the ozonic notes too you know so beautiful i put this in honorable mentions because it's been discontinued although you can still get it i will link everything down in the description box this is not quite discontinued but it's kind of hard to get a hold of which is why i'm putting it in the honorable mentions and also another reason i'll get to that here in a second this is gerla terracotta you guys this is also gorgeous fragrance that has like it's kind of like a, a bronze goddess in a way kind of except for the jasmine in here is a little indolic which is why i'm putting this one of the other reasons i'm putting this in the honorable mentions um now this has a little i think tiari flower too absolutely beautiful the coconut note is very noticeable and gorgeous it's actually a great fragrance for really hot summer days and here's one that's been definitely discontinued i don't know if you can get a hold of it anywhere i'll quickly mention it this is angel eye star um i have to spray it actually um i'm gonna spray it right here on the back of my hand this one is a very fruity kind of pineapple-y coconutty scent with vanilla yeah really beautiful i really like it i'm wearing this quite a bit actually this summer and here's another one that's quite actually you know something you wouldn't say or expect to be nice but it's a very affordable fragrance very i will say artificial smelling but this is jlo miami glow uh has passion fruit and in the opening has loads of coconut that passion fruit, the citruses, and the coconut, I would say, are the most prominent. In, in fact, they happen to be the opening notes, but they stay kind of through the fragrance, through the lifetime of the life of the fragrance on your skin, on your clothes. It has some vanilla, some musks, you know, some amber. Beautiful fragrance. I love the little beach slippers in here. For the price, very affordable. I think it's been discontinued, which is one of the other reasons why I put it in the uh, honorable mentions. Anyway, you guys, so those are my beautiful coconut scents, but I wanted to quickly show you some body care products you can layer these with. Uh, first of all, I gotta give a shout out to Kopari 100% organic coconut oil. What more smells like coconut than coconut oil, right? And I have another one by Shea Moisture, extra virgin coconut oil, 100% organic. These are great to layer your coconut scents with. And then I have a coconut scrub here, which is from with natural coconut oil. It's a salt or sugar scrub? Sugar scrub, yeah. 
I love this. I've used this quite a bit as you can see. This is like my second or third tub. And um, I got recently, well, my favorite coconut body wash is Coco Cabana by Sol de Janeiro. This smells so divine and coconutty. I don't understand people who say that smells a little bit like popcorn. I guess they don't know what popcorn smells like or something. I don't know. And, and recently I found this one. This is like from, this is a French brand. It's a Tahiti. Uh, it's their coconut body wash. This smells so creamy, just as coconutty and even slightly better almost than the, almost more slightly better kind of tropically than even the Coca Cabana. I absolutely love this. There's only one place I ordered this from. I'll link all the stuff down in the description box. Takes a while to get here, but it's so worth it. And then, of course, for body cream, I love my Coco Cabana cream. If I'm not using the natural coconut oil, then I'm using the Coco Cabana cream by Sol de Janeiro. The best coconut body cream ever, honestly. Or you can just use natural coconut oil, you guys. What can beat natural coconut oil? So yeah, those are the coconut body products you can layer your coconut scents with. So you guys, I hope you like this video, my coconut fragrances let me know down in the comment section do you have any other recommendations let me know down in the comment section i'm looking for like purely coconutty scents i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok i will see you guys in my next video